perhaps touched every household throughout North America. My friendship goes back to the late 1950s. And through the years, I've always honored this man in a good way. He left me that certain respect, that certain understanding. I believe that I think each and every one of us that knew him personally gained to un far understand him even more. Again, we have a number of people that will be speaking today and individuals that will be singing, people that wanted to honor him in their own way. Myself, I, like I said, I brought him to the state fair a couple of years ago and I see some of the people that were there. It brought tears to my eyes to think back again of 60 years of friendship, travel, the many things that I've learned through my lifetime. I was always mentored, mentored by Paul. And I would be perhaps relating a little more of that later on throughout today and individuals that wish to speak or sing or what have you honor him. I'd like to ask you to sign up on the list out at the front so we want to honor and give everyone an opportunity to speak from the heart, say what they perform or honor in their own way. I think for many of us as Native people, know that we always like to start things out rather appropriately. As Native people, Mother Earth is our Bible, so to speak. We always call upon the Creator in a good way. In a good way with that understanding of our people, those that are in need of prayer, today honoring the memory, again, of Mr. Paul Ortega. We called him upon a young man that his son to start out with our invocation. Back in 1999, I brought Paul up to Winnipeg, Vancouver, and a very special concert. And I, to this day, I tried to get a copy of it so I could bring it here today. It was one of the best concerts I've ever produced and directed. His son, his daughter, his wife, the family were part of this show, our production. We've deemed it rather appropriate that Gabriel, his son, will be doing our invocation for his father. I'd like to ask each and every one of you to pray along with them. Let us again honor the memory of Mr. Paul Ortega, Colicog, Mr. Gabriel. Okay, good. This time I'd like to ask all the power in the world to join with this to honor a man that not only preached his tradition, but lived it every day. Uh, never failed to say his prayers never felt to pray for anybody, you know, he was always had everybody in his prayers. Um, so this time I'd like to ask life giver, with all your many animals and all your many powers and ways, please join us here to celebrate this day for my father. Um, please join us all in our hearts and, and keep his memory in our minds. For everybody that has touched, you know, that, that you guys say a prayer for him. Again, I want to thank Gabriel his son, the family, his people for 
paying tribute and honor in a good way. As I said earlier, we're honoring the memory a father, a grandfather, a teacher, a medicine man, a spiritual leader among our people, a tribal chairman, councilman for many years. We think the music, as we say music, it's a universal language that we all grow to understand and appreciate our culture and our way of life. For myself, I, I could say, was touched by a man, touched in my heart by the words, the many lessons that I learned and I traveled. I shall always remember Paul and the teachings, the spiritual teachings that he shared with each and every one of you in behalf of the family, we want to thank each and every one of you today for being here. There are many, many more people coming. And, and again, we hope that we shall be able to give everyone a chance to express themselves, honoring, again, Mr. Paul Ortega. At this time, for some of you that may not know, we're going to honor the memory through song. I've called upon Shukaska as we an in Indian country honor our memories through song. Paul was a gentleman that again brought native traditional music into the contemporary world. My travels are recalled back in the 1960s when we were doing a lot of shows together. He was instrumental far before Floyd Westerman and Buddy Redbow. A lot of the people that you may know, Winston Watney, many of the other individuals know of what he had brought to the contemporary world. In native music, we always have a song for every purpose, everything that we do in life. And so today I ask Shunkaska to honor the memory through song. And I'd like to call at this time a gentleman, a special friend of mine that I'm going to respect a legend, I would like to say in a humble way, Dr. Ronald Tice. Gentlemen I met back in the late 1960s. I'd like to call him a legend because he is, in the Indian world, a legend. He may not be non, may not be native, but he's fluent in the Dakota dialect. He's composed many songs and used to sing within league for porcupine, porcupine singers. And I kind of asked uh, Dr. Tice Ron to say a few words. I think, like I say, everyone here, I think, has grown to respect Paul. He is sitting here today with us. And through song, we're going to honor him in a traditional way. Mr. Ronald Tice. Friends and relatives, on behalf of our young group, we'd like to honor the memory and celebrate the life of Paul Ortega. Our drum group, Chunkaska, uh, has a long tradition with no other singing, particularly of the Lakota, some people call it the Sioux. And we uh, were dedicated to the traditional music, the proper song for the proper occasion. 
And so it's an honor for us to be asked to celebrate the many dimensions of Paul Ortega. Personally, I've been around Lakota music for over 50 years, and I actually remember Paul Ortega in Washington, D.C. in 1980, 81. The U.S. Congress sponsored a Night of the First American, and uh, he performed there. And my drum group at the time, Porcupine Singers, we also performed uh, for that show, and I remember his music, and I think he sang that trail song. That's one of his hallmark uh, songs. So in any case, it's an honor for us to uh, sing three songs. Brother Boy has asked us to prepare three songs. We are very dedicated to using the native traditional language, and many times people who don't speak it can't appreciate the text, the words. And we'll be singing three songs. Two of them will have native words in them. The first one is a memorial song that helps us to remember, but also to dry our tears. And we do that through music. And there's a short text in the first song, and it says, 